Welcome to the Rice County Historical Society. In keeping with our theme of helping folks with doing family research, I thought I would talk a little bit about the kinds of information you can get out of a plat map and a little bit on how to read them. First off, let's start at a big picture of Rice County. This is actually from a 1900 plat map book, which is just fabulous. And as you can see here, the township, the county is actually made up of 14 townships. 12 of the 14 townships are made up of 36 sections. Each section is made up of one square mile and is typically described as being broken up into quarters. So the northwest quarter of section 22 in Cannon City might be a way that you would read a property description. Two townships in Rice County have six additional sections, Bridgewater and Northfield Township. As you can see here, the city of Northfield actually straddles what would have been the typical dividing line for Rice County and Dakota County. So when the state was formed in 1858, these two townships were given six more sections, so they actually have a total of 42 sections. If you happen to have family or land that was owned in one of those two sections, please beware. When you read a description, there's a 33 north as well as a 33 south within each of the two townships. And so you have to be really extra careful when you read those property descriptions. Let's take a look at Cannon City Township. This is Cannon City Township. And you can see, of course, there's the city in the center. And you can see that much of the city of Faribault is taken out of the southwest quarter of the township itself. Once again, the township has 36 sections. And what's interesting is the way in which the sections move across the, town, the township. All section number ones are in the upper right corner or the northeast corner of the township and move their way across going west. Then, like forming a giant S, it goes south and then they go east again. As you can imagine, the townships were marked by surveyors who were walking. So it is important to note that because sometimes you might have family or land descriptions that have land both in section 2 and section 11, and it's helpful to know that those are actually adjacent to each other. We invite you to come to the Historical Society to take a look at this map or other maps that we have on Rice County. You can also sometimes find them online. Rice County Historical Society, preserving the past for future generations.